Philip. Today I'll be introducing you into the world of Arduino. So what's Arduino, you might ask? Arduino is an open source electronics platform that allows makers to create electronics projects using C and a ton of cool libraries. Arduino makes electronics prototyping quite easy. You write some code, you build a circuit, you upload it to the device, and you're good to go. The best part is there's a huge community, the code is not too hard, and it's easy to get started. So hey, let's get started. Some basic Arduino anatomy to start off with. There's many types of Arduinos. They come in all shapes and sizes. Here is an Arduino Uno. This is an original Arduino device made in Italy by the Arduino Foundation, I believe it is. However, you're not just limited to official Arduino devices, as the project is entirely open source, so anyone, including you, can go make your own Arduino board. This means you can buy Arduinos from other companies. This one here is an Elegoo Mega, based on the Arduino Mega. It's a lot cheaper than the official one, and for the most part, it is just as good. For this series of tutorials, we're going to be sticking with the Arduino Uno. It is a great choice for beginners and novices and even experts alike. It's pretty inexpensive, easy to get, and is a great beginning point. So let's take a look at what makes the Arduino Uno an Arduino. The Arduino is based on an Atmega chip. This is the microprocessor and kind of the brain of the whole operation. It is placed right here. It is connected to your computer via a USB port and can also be powered by the USB port or by a DC in jack. It can also be powered uh, through pins such as V in and ground. However, that is more for experienced users and we're going to be sticking to powering it through um, the USB port. The Arduino has a whole bunch of digital pins. As we can see, they're labeled right here. They're on this bank from 0 to 13. These 14 pins can be used as digital inputs or outputs. Some of these pins, with the little squiggly lines, are pulse width modulation pins, which can be used to send PWM signals uh, to your devices for your projects. We're going to be discussing those a bit later. Arduinos also have a bank of analog input pins, which can take values from 0 to 1024 and measure voltages from different sensors and devices. And there's of course some power pins such as VIN, which is the input voltage. So better. You have two ground pins here, a 5 volt, a 3.3 volt pin. And of course you can also find some ground pins right here. There's a ground pin. And that is basically it. Besides that, an Arduino has a UART um, USB to serial, uh, serial to USB converter right here, which makes it easy for your computer to communicate uh, via USB serial to the microprocessor, the microcontroller, to flash it, to flash firmware projects, and to communicate back and forth through serial communication. For our first Arduino project, we're going to be creating a simple blink sketch. All you're going to do is you're going to hook it up right here. We are then going to go into the Arduino IDE. All right, let's get started with the Arduino IDE. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to have to download the Arduino IDE. And the easiest way of doing that is by simply going to arduino.cc and then going right over to software, downloads, and then we're going to scroll down a bit, Arduino IDE, and make sure to download the appropriate version depending on your operating system. I'm running Mac OS, so I downloaded it for Mac OS, but it works on all OS's. Once you've done that and you have it installed, go ahead and open it up. No. We're going to start off by making sure we have our Arduino connected. Now, if depending on your operating system, you may have to install additional drivers, which I'll link to below in the video description. Now, once you've plugged in your Arduino, and you go into Tools, make sure you select the right Arduino board. Since we're using an Arduino Uno, we're going to select the Uno. And then under Port, if you're on Windows, you're going to see something like COM1, COM2, COM3, COM4, COM5. 
uh, which are the serial ports. Of course, you have to install drivers on Windows, which I'll also link in the description below. Now, I'm on Mac, so if I go to port, I didn't have to install drivers, and I see it here. It shows up as USB modem 14401. This number might be different on your device, but you will see it here, and you have that selected. Now, having done that, we're now going to write our first sketch. A sketch is an Arduino program. It has two main parts, two or which are functions. You have the void setup function, which runs once upon starting up on your Arduino, and then never runs again until the next time your Arduino restarts. And you have the void loop function, which runs continuously. It repeats nonstop. And the code has to be placed inside these curly brackets. That's defines kind of the beginning and the end of a function. So we're going to today we're going to be blinking an LED. The Arduino, as I mentioned earlier, has a built-in LED on pin 13. So we're going to start by defining the LED pin and giving it a value. Now int is a data type, in this case an integer. We're going to be using declaring a variable, basically declaring and initializing a variable. So we're going to declare the data type first, which is an integer, by writing int. Then we're going to give it a name. This can be anything. I'm going to call mine LED pin. We're going to set its value equal to 13. Now when writing code, if you want to set something equal, like a variable equal to a value, use one equal sign. If you want to check if something is equal, we use two. But we'll get into that later. So we're going to create LED pin 13. We're going to also write down a comment by doing two forward slashes. And this is basically allowing us to leave ourselves a note or a comment on our code without it actually running in, a, in the code or in the program. So if you don't want to forget what a piece of code does, you comment it. And I highly suggest you do this. So here we're going to say create and define an integer variable LED pen and set its value to 13, which will be our LED pin. Now this is not necessary, as this is a very simple piece of code, but it's good practice on more complex pieces. Now in the void setup function, we're going to use the command pin mode to set the LED pin, which is 13. This basically will equal 13. We're going to set that LED pin as, out, as an output. And that is all we need to do. Now the Arduino knows that pin 13, called LED pin, will be an output. Now inside our loop, we're going to do a digital write which will basically either send a high or low value, 5 volts or 0 volts, to our Arduino pin 13, uh, to turn on and off whatever is on that pin, in this case, the built-in LED. We're going to type in LED pin, and we're going to set it, the pin to high. So basically this Now, it is important that after each line of code, you include a semicolon to let the program know that's the end of the line of code. Next, we're going to set a delay because we want this to blink. This is in milliseconds, so 1000 milliseconds is a second. So wait for one second, just 1000 milliseconds. And then we're going to do another digital write to change the state of the LED, LED pin to low, turning it off. And then once again, we're going to add a delay of 1000 seconds. So again, we wait for one second. And that's it. Now, if we compile this by hitting the check mark here, verify, we're going to want to save this. So let's save this as, say, blink. Hello world. It now compiles. Oh, 
And here you see I made an error. Instead of putting a comma, I accidentally put a period. And that's good to always verify our code to make sure you have no errors. Now when it says it's done compiling, it means our code is error free. And we can now hit upload to upload it to our Arduino. Once the sketch is uploaded, you will notice that the integrated LED, visible right here, will be blinking. Congratulations, you're now up and running with a basic Arduino setup and you've uploaded and run your first sketch. In the coming videos, I'll be covering how to set up a variety of different Arduino circuits and how to use all the different Arduino code functions. So stay tuned. That's all for today. There'll be a link down in the description below with a full written guide and the code files. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. While you're at it, check out some of my other tutorial and project videos. See you next time.